The refugee question has been a thorny subject to Kenya after it emerged that the Dada refugee complex has turned into a safe haven for terror elements. Kenya, too, for years has had to carry the burden of feeding the displaced in the largest refugee camp in the world as donations from the international community dwindled. Kenya's limit stretched beyond its reach and President Kenyatta announced it was time the camp was closed. Heads of state and government under the Intergovernmental Authority on Development met today to deliberate on a durable solution to the refugee problem in Somalia. President Uhuru Kenyatta would appeal to the international community to intervene in stabilizing Somalia. The manner in which we extend this support to Somalia is also critical. Humanitarian and development actors must grow their footprint within and operate out of Somalia. Now that Somalia is stabilizing, we must all stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters. President Kenyatta said the peaceful election of President Mohamed Fermajo was testament that Somalia was regaining its footing but required help to hold. We are informed by the World Bank that in 2015, Somalia received US dollars 1.4 billion in remittances, which is almost a quarter of its gross domestic product. There is also an available solution in the utilization of acceler accelerated resettlement to third countries as stipulated in the 1951 Refugees Convention. For far too long, we have been investing in managing of, of refugees and IDPs. Time has come for us to invest in their God-given ability to manage themselves. In our, our national development plan, we articulate how we intend to mitigate the root cause of the cyclical drought in our country. President Kenyatta and his Somalia counterpart further called on eager member countries to find a lasting solution that would see refugees willingly return home to rebuild their country. It is internationally accepted that the preferred solution is voluntary return. Our experience in this regard has been promising. To date, a total of 60,000 refugees have voluntarily returned to Somalia and are participating in rebuilding their nation. Our national development plan has a full chapter on migration because we recognize that thousands of our young men perishes as they make the dangerous journey to Europe. While many of them are fleeing conflict, most are fleeing the agony of hopelessness as a result of widespread unemployment and lack of access to basic services such as health and education. This is also a global problem calling for collective resolve and action. It is against this background that we need to adopt and put in place coordinated practical measures at regional and global levels. Last year, the president issued an order for the closure of a Dada refugee camp, but the order was later extended by another six months from November. Instead, the Dab has become a protracted situation characterized by hopelessness that easily feeds environmental destruction, conflicts between refugees and host communities, insecurity, radicalization, criminality, and also allows terrorist operatives to exploit it for their operational efforts. It is for this reason that the Kenya government made a decision in May last year to close down the Dab refugee complex. As part of support, Kenya will pump 100 million shillings to empower the refugees through technical training once they're safely repatriated. John Jacob Curia for Channel One News.